Hi, my name's Andrew Irvine. Most of you know me as the crazy chemistry teacher who sets off fire alarms at the upper school. Well, I've always been passionate about nature and the outdoors and participating in sustainability in my personal life for a very long time. My family moved to our home in Boulder Creek in May of 2019, and in a little over a year, we were evacuated during the CZU fires. We were some of the lucky ones. We had good friends who put us up for 17 days, and we didn't lose our home, unlike many members of the Boulder Creek and community and some of the Harker community. Sustainability is something that impacts all of us one way or another. I just spent the past week getting our garage prepared in case my family needs to evacuate in the middle of the night this fire season. This is our reality now. And with the fire seasons getting longer and fires in California getting worse, how long will it take before you might have to prepare your family for fire evacuations. My vision for sustainability is one of inclusion, accessibility, and hope. I don't want to brush aside the severity of the issues we're up against, but I also believe we need to embrace hope and a positive vision for our future to empower our community and especially our students. I want to make sustainability and climate action cool among our kids. These issues should be more than just topics covered in science class, and I'm hoping you'll join me in this goal. Towards the end of the year and the week before Earth Day, we are planning to showcase sustainability projects and action happening at all divisions and all subject levels throughout the year. Our common goal is to give students tools and the voice to talk about this important issue, envision solutions and create a positive future of sustainability. I want to help them find hope when faced with the overwhelming news about our environment and climate in the media. As you prepare for the coming school year, I ask that you think about ways you can engage your students in sustainability. As you move forward with these ideas, please share your efforts with me so we can celebrate them during Earth Week. Here are some questions you can ask yourself as you plan. How do we get our kids involved in sustainability in your subject area? What activities work best for this topic? How can you help them find a voice to engage with and process climate change news? What message do you give your students about the resources they use in your classroom, whether conscious or unconsciously? How do you model sustainability as a mentor for your students? How do you manage your waste, water, or energy use in your classroom? Like I said before, sustainability is more than just science and math curriculum. We need artists, athletes, performers, writers, historians, operations and maintenance staff, kitchen staff, and administration. This is part of all of our lives. I look forward to working with you to discover how to make it a part of your life at Harker.